road for a fuel efficiency revisit. Let's test his tailgate up, just like old times, except we don't have to drive for 600 miles. Please, don't try anything that you're about to see us do at home, ever. So, tailgate up versus tailgate down, are you serious? Are we revisiting that? I thought we nailed that. Uh, yeah, we did nail it. I think we nailed it, you think we nailed it, and I believe the general consensus is that we nailed it. But when it comes to fuel efficiency, the fans just want more. They want more tests. Huh. The tailgate up versus down dilemma first spawned a driving marathon. Yeah, it's definitely out. I'm uh, keying it off. Over. Then a water vortex test. Okay. Both of which prove that tailgate up is a more fuel efficient way to drive. And it's right about here. They're hitting this critical point where I can see them kind of falling off and joining in with their friends. But viewers want more. So the basic gist of it is that the fans feel like there are several tests we did not try that can potentially improve your mileage on your pickup truck. Yeah, my inbox is full of them, like driving your pickup with that hard roof cover on it. Yeah, that's one of them. There's also, I've been suggested, the, the, the mesh in place of your tailgate is supposed to work. And some of them are suggesting that you even take your tailgate entirely off. Okay, so that's three tests. That's enough for us to work with. I think we should do it. Sounds like a plan. The boys are going to test the different tailgate setups at 25 and 55 miles an hour to find out once and for all the most fuel efficient way of driving a pickup. Or more precisely, Jamie's pickup. The way this works is it's got a flow meter, an electronic flow meter that we've hooked directly into the fuel line of the car. So it knows, it's not estimating, it's not calculating or extrapolating, it's reading precisely how much fuel is moving into the engine of the car under each condition we're going to test it under. It's a foolproof system, and what's more, it has been pre-tested. For anyone out there who wants to email me telling me that we screwed up this test, we have already calibrated this thing to this car. So it's going to be perfect. With the perfect gauge in place, it's time to hit the road. So for each of these, I think this stretch that you're, you're driving on is perfect. It's like five miles of straight, flat road. We can get all of our speed readings and fuel efficiency readings on here, just driving back and forth, back and forth. And they're going to start by trying to confirm their original results with the tailgate down. Okay, I'm working my way up to... 55, I should be pretty stable right now. 5.3, 5.2. I'm real stable. Stable's not moving, 5.2, 5.2, 5.2 gallons per hour at 55. From 55, Jamie slams on the brakes and repeats the circuit at 25 miles an hour. Okay. 1.2 gallons per hour at 25. Okay. A quick pit stop later, and it's all change with the tailgate. This test is tailgate up, just like old times, except we don't have to drive for 600 miles. They run the circuit once more at 55. Stable reading of five gallons per hour at 55. Then again at 25 miles an hour. Well, that seems to confirm our previous results that having the tailgate up is more fuel efficient than having the tailgate down. Well, that's encouraging. <laughs> so, um, what's next? Now that their original results are upheld, the new tests can begin. And first up, it's on with the pickup cover. Putting a hard cover on your pickup truck is supposed to be the best thing you could do to make it aerodynamic, and that's supposed to lead to the best fuel efficiency. A nearly endless number of fans wrote Jamie and I to explain this very point, so that's why we're doing it. Once the cover's in place, they drive around in circles some more. 1.2 gallons per hour at 25. Let's go up to 55. Okay, and steadying off. Not moving. Okay, I get a reading of 5 gallons per hour at 55. The stats are in, so they head back to Mission Control, where it's off with the roof as the cover is uncovered. And there you have it. One nice fallout shelter. 
Oh, honey, there's a tornado coming. Hold on, sweetie. Let's go down. While Adam seeks shelter, what's next? Next is actually uh, a truck tailgate mesh. Requires removing this and putting the mesh on. Well, this thing weighs a bit. I guess that'd save mileage if it's uh, you know not on the truck, right? Well, the fans emailed us and said if we were testing tailgate up and down, we should test this because this is supposed to be the least aerodynamic. It's supposed to use the most fuel. And on the box, it actually says it improves the gas mileage. So we're going to investigate that. There's a mishmash of information about the mesh. Yep. The manufacturer claims it improves mileage, but the fans disagree. Luckily, the Mythbusters are going to put an end to this controversy. So this is the test for the mesh installed with the tailgate removed. And two laps later, the info's in. And that leaves just one final configuration. OK, we're good to go. Well, let's go. The last test is no tailgate and no mesh. And after another bout of driving, they have all the data they could ever need. So where are we now? Well, now I'm tired of driving, and I think we should go back to the shop and crunch all these numbers, compare them to each other, and see what kind of data we actually achieved today. OK. So Adam, we're back at base, and you're looking a little confused with that calculator. I'm not confused. Hold on. All right, the results are in. The most fuel efficient thing you can do to drive your pickup truck is mesh. Really? Yeah. Actually, it was an improvement of almost 5%, which exceeds most of the other things we tried. Wow. What about the other combinations? Well, uh, no tailgate, tailgate up, and hardcover were all about the same, and tailgate down was, again, the worst. Well, there you go. Yeah. I really, really hope, and I'm asking you, sitting at your computer, not to email me about this. I don't want to do any more fuel efficiency myths. Yeah, if you don't believe us, go right ahead and drive the way you want.